One of the craziest conspiracy theories out there is that the Earth is the center of the universe. Studies over history have constantly disproved this idea. The Earth is not even at the center of the solar system, let alone the entire universe. If, for any reason it was, our current knowledge of the cosmos states that life on the planet would be very different from what it is today, if it even existed in the first place. The idea was first put forward by medieval astronomers because, at that time, the limitations of technology were only limited to the visual observations of the night sky. When they looked up at the stars, the only thing they observed was these dots of light in the sky which seemed to revolve around them, rather than the Earth revolving around these stars. This caused them to conclude that the Earth must be at the center of the solar system. In today's video, we will talk about why this ancient theory is false and what it would be like if Earth indeed was located at the center of the solar system. During the thousands of years humans have gazed upon the stars, our concept of what the universe looks like has changed significantly. A popular theory at one point in time was that the Earth was completely flat, surrounded by the Sun, the Moon, and thousands of stars. Over time, ancient astronomers were able to observe that some of these stars had vastly different moving patterns compared to the rest and began to conclude that these were other planets. Advances in observation and a better understanding of the properties of the universe eventually led us to discover that the Earth was indeed round. This allowed for further debate on the behavior of other celestial bodies. Scientists of the time formulated ideas on how the motion of these other planets occurred and how everything fit together in the solar system. This gave rise to the idea that the Earth was the center of the universe, and other objects such as the Sun and Moon circled our planet. This was called the geocentric model. This model was understandable for people of that era. Looking up at the sky, they could see that all of these celestial bodies were seemingly rotating around the Earth once a day. For people standing on the surface of the planet, a point of reference was a fixed, flat plane from which to watch the circling cosmos. Over centuries, this model was widely accepted across many ancient civilizations and endured well into the 17th and 18th centuries. In the 16th century, famed astronomer Nicholas Copernicus began working on what would become known as the heliocentric model. This model represented years of research and observations. Copernicus was able to come up with this system by building upon the works of other ancient astronomers who, like him, did not support the geocentric view. By 1514, he was able to summarize his findings and began sharing them with the world. This heliocentric hypothesis was based on seven general principles. These stated that not all celestial bodies revolve around a single point. The center of our planets is also the center of the lunar sphere. All spherical celestial bodies rotate around the sun. The distance between the Earth and the sun is a small fraction of the distance from the two celestial bodies to other stars, and these stars are immovable. These were just some of the points he included as a basis for this theory. He continued working on his research and by 1532 had almost completed the manuscript in which he advanced his arguments and was able to support them with relevant data. However, it wouldn't be until 1542, when he was near his death, that his findings were officially published. Thanks to the invention of the telescope, astronomers were able to observe the cosmos at a much more intimate level than was possible before. Observations about the motions of the planets and more refined calculations would help them understand that the Earth was not immovable. But for thousands of years, the geocentric model would still be used to calculate the positions of other planets and other astronomical phenomena. The model would eventually collapse, just like many other theories of its day, thanks to the expansion of learning that took place in the 17th century. If the geocentric model of the universe was correct and the Earth was at the center of the solar system, we would have to revise our fundamental understanding of the nature of the universe. This model would put the Earth right in the middle of everything. We would be surrounded by several layers of other celestial orbits. The Moon would still be the closest celestial neighbor to the Earth, followed by the Sun. Then there would be other planets starting with Venus, Mercury, Mars, and all the rest which form the solar system. Beyond the solar system would be a sphere containing all of the stars in existence. Go even further, and you would run into the end of the known universe. If this reordering of the celestial objects also supported the same laws of gravity we follow today, the sizes of the Earth and the Sun would have to change significantly for the theory to work. Our planet would need to be much bigger than it currently is, and the Sun would have to be much smaller in comparison. For example, the largest planet currently in the solar system is Jupiter, and even then, its mass is only 0.1% of the Sun's. Meanwhile, Jupiter is over 300 times bigger than the Earth. 
This means that our planetary neighborhood would be sized much differently if the Earth was at its center. If the Sun was smaller, it would be unable to sustain the fusion which powers it today. This would result in a lot less sunlight and would have a massive effect on the climate and habitability of Earth. Average temperatures would enter a free fall and would keep decreasing until the planet was left engulfed in a blanket of snow. As for the other planets, their orbital patterns would be vastly different as they would revolve around the Earth in strange motions. All of the planets would have different speeds at which they revolve around the Earth, and the Moon's orbit wouldn't be uniform either. It would change every month and would cause chaos on Earth. The strangest part for any stargazer would be observing the planets and noticing that sometimes they appear to move backward. This is because if the Earth was the center of the solar system, all the other planets would follow their own mini-orbit called an epicycle. While the other planets would have to follow a funky path around the Earth, our planet would still have its seasons. This is because the Sun would move up and down the celestial equator as it orbits the planet. This would cause it to heat the northern hemisphere at one point and the southern hemisphere at another. These are just some of the things that would have been different if the Earth was indeed at the center of the solar system. However, these theories have since proven to be incorrect. It is common knowledge now that the geocentric model is incredibly flawed and does not account for many of the things that make the universe tick. Even though research has decisively concluded that the Earth is not the center of the solar system, new studies being performed every day help us unlock the mysteries of our universe faster than ever before. The most recent studies have found that the Sun may not be at the exact center of our planetary neighborhood either. Observations have found that planets and other bodies create a gravitational tug on the Sun as they revolve around it. This causes it to wobble around a bit. As a result, it can be concluded that the very center of the solar system is not exactly located at the center of the Sun. Instead, it lies just a little beyond the star's surface. However, scientists have not yet been able to determine the exact location of the center, mostly because of Jupiter. The massive planet exerts the strongest gravitational pull on the Sun and causes it to wobble with even more vigor. Ultimately, though, the most recent calculations have narrowed down the location of the Berry Center to within just 100 meters, right above the surface of the Sun. This is an impressive feat, since 100 meters is nothing when compared to the size of the solar system. If the Earth was the center of the solar system, reason dictates that the planet would be a much different place than it is today. It may not have even had the ability to sustain intelligent life, and humans would have probably never evolved to our current stage. We hope you found the video informative. Please leave us a like if you did, and remember to subscribe for more interesting videos on the mysteries of space. As we continue to make discoveries about the universe, what is the next biggest breakthrough you are excited about? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below.